Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I'm sharing my dialer. What is a dialer? <laughs> so this is a dialer. This was literally a tool used to help you dial the phone. All right, so what we have here is a rotary phone. I kind of touched upon this in a previous video. My wife kind of got into the idea of having a, a rotary phone. First, it was just supposed to be a Halloween decoration. Then she got a couple of them and she really cleaned them up well. And then she got this I might make a separate video on the future, but you got this little device, so you can use these with a, a cell phone number. It's just really, really cool. The whole thing is quite fascinating. So this is actually, uh, she unplugged this so I could do my video. All right, so, that, you know, because you can't just, these are old, these are hardwired in there. Uh, but she wrapped it up really nice. We were actually using this, so when my cell phone rang, this also rang for the house, and, and she connected hers to it as well. It's like a it's almost like a little phone jack thing that works with Bluetooth. I don't know, I don't know the details on it, to be honest. So anyway, this is currently another phone that's in the house that's connected to our, uh, our cell phone numbers. But uh, anyway, I thought it was pretty neat. So I was uh, looking online. Christina had uh, mentioned that she wanted to get an old-timey dialer. So first off, if you don't know what a rotary phone is, if you're really young watching the video, this is how we used to call people. So instead of just hitting someone's name and automatically dialing, if you go back a little bit, you had to remember people's phone number and you have to push buttons on the phone, all right? And if you go before that, you had to use one of these rotary phones, okay? So if you want to dial a number, let's say uh, 759, you'd have to do this, seven, go to the five, all right, nine. So sometimes it could take a good 20 or 30 seconds to call someone and God forbid you're like five numbers in and then you make a mistake, you have to start over. So anyway, this was a tool that helped you dial, okay? So you didn't have to use your finger. Now, not that it was a problem, most people just use their finger. However, in an office environment, especially with a secretary who may have pretty long fingernails, you know, jam imagine if you're a girl watching this, jamming your nice fingernails you just got done in these holes to try to dial, to call someone, not a great idea, right? So they had a lot of these tools. Some were metal, some were plastic. This one happens to be sterling silver and you would use this tool to dial. So, maybe four, seven, one, zero, right? It's that simple. So Christina was kind of interested in getting one of these dialers and me being me and wanting an excuse to get more silver, I started looking up different silver ones. And they have some Tiffany's ones, which are outrageously priced, but you know, for good reason, I'm sure. But I found two of these, I had two identical ones and these came from an estate lot of uh, a executive from the B&O Railroad who passed away. So I have to guess it probably wasn't the executives himself because again, this is something that would be more used uh, with females and specifically secretaries and stuff. Um, so it could have been his secretary or perhaps his wife or daughter, who knows, something like that. But this has uh, the initials on it, which I wanna say are OPT. All right, again, you guys can maybe be the judge there. OPT, possibly F, but I still think that that's a T in the bottom. And these are sterling silver, which is marked on the bottom there. So the actual handle of here is hollow, and it is sterling, which is 92.5% silver. But the head, well, this portion here, the actual dialing portion is probably stainless. Now, some of you guys are pretty smart out there watching the videos, especially if you used to watch my, uh, my pipe smoking videos, because this would make a fantastic pipe tamper. All right, I know some of you guys were thinking that right from the get-go. It looks like a tamper, right? So it does have a flat bottom, and it's kind of bulbous there, but if you had a pipe bowl, you could use this to tamp down the tobacco. Obviously, they make these in plastic. You wouldn't use that as a pipe tamper, but you could find one in stainless or find one in, uh, in silver like this. It'd just be really neat. So I just kind of want to share that with you. You know, if you haven't seen a rotary phone, I mean, I'm sure most people have. Even if you're like 10 years old watching this, you probably heard about it or saw it in a cartoon or something. This is how our phones used to work, but some women with pretty nails you did use a dialer. You know, maybe you had like a stubby pointer finger, maybe you had an accident and you couldn't easily use that. You didn't want to use your ring finger or something. Maybe your phone was all the way across the desk and you had to reach. This would give you a little bit of extra reach so you could quickly dial. All right, just pretty interesting. So, I mean, I didn't know this existed until, uh, until I found out. It's like everything else. You don't know about something until you learn it. Anyway, I thought this would be a really interesting thing to talk about on a video. I know most people don't have rotary phones anymore. Maybe you still have your grandmas in the house or maybe you're still living in the house you grew up with and you do have a rotary phone that's functional. That'd be kind of a cool addition if you didn't know it existed. 
but more so anyone who's really interested in pipe smoking. I did want to mention that it would be an interesting um, addition to a pipe tamper collection. All right, so if you want something a little bit different, a little bit outside the box, also makes a great story. This would work well, you know, tamping down the uh, tobacco in a pipe. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little tidbit. Let me know if you still use a rotary phone in your house. And if you do, do you ever have or ever use one of these tools before? You know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.